today I'm going to show you how to make a plaster mold that you can use for slip casting. This is a great way to mass produce uh, things that you really want to make. So this is um, little houses that I make to try out different surface designs. This is the plaster mold that I made of it. Um, so you can see kind of how it works. So what you're going to need first is the item that you want to mold. So I'm going to actually make four molds, um, two bowls, and then we'll make a mold of these two also. And it's a good idea to not breathe the plaster that I'm going to be mixing. This is pottery plaster. It's different than plaster of Paris, but you can buy it at Hobby Lobby, um, but it's pottery plaster. So I've got a lot of dry plaster, regular water. I don't measure. Just kind of add a little bit at a time. Stir that up. You need more. Add more. And you want it uh, about the consistency of ranch dressing. You have to work fast. I think this is pretty well mixed up. See, it feels a bit like a, a mayonnaise consistency, not too runny. So now what I'm going to do is make sure that I have all of my plaster in there. I want this to get flat. So the best way to do that is just tap it down. That gets flat and also gets rid of the air bubbles in there because there are air bubbles in there. You'll see them popping as you're doing this. I'm going to make a mold of these two. So I'm going to go ahead and set those into the plaster and push it down all the way to the top edge. I'm also going to do one of this right here. And another one of this bowl. Okay, you just want to make sure there's no plaster on the top of your the things that you're molding. And if they want to float up, I got just a little weight here so that I can keep this down while the plaster's drying. These are just uh, kiln posts. I will keep it from floating up, keep it in place. So it's important that whatever you're making a mold of, um, I make my molds upside down. This has to be larger with the bottom part flipped. You also can't have anything sticking out. I could put a chimney straight up there if I wanted to, but I couldn't put uh, something like a, a door or a window uh, box out there sticking out because when I pour it in slip, I wouldn't be able to get that out of the mold without ripping that thing off. So it's very important that whatever you're molding is thicker and then gradually gets thinner. Now that we have the plaster all dried, we're going to try to take these uh, things out of here. But I need to get any plaster that is on top of it off first. Because that's not going to allow it to uh, come out. There's stuff on top of it. So. Good. This is a slip that I blended up in a blender. Um, you can buy it. By slip casting slip, but I just use my regular clay body. And all you're going to do is fill the molds up to the uh, top with your slip. Doing these two, I'm going to tap it down just to get rid of any air bubbles. But 
as the pottery plaster absorbs the water in here, it will start to stick to the sides of it, and eventually what you'll have is a, a, a bowl, half of a bowl. So a lot of this water will evaporate, and it will sink down and keep sinking down, and it's going to stick to the walls. So we've poured our slip in the molds, and they're about leather hard now. And you can see this one is already starting to shrink and come away from the mold. So this is probably a good time to get these out. If you can peel them out yourself, right, make sure that there's no clay on top. So just kind of gently smooth that off. And if you need a little bit of help, I find that just using another piece of clay to stick onto that and get that other molds. Um, I made these uh, because these came from a bath bomb container. And so these are going to be perfect to just go ahead and score and slip together if you want to make a perfect sphere.